Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to another movie. It's another Patreon request and today I am going to react to True Grit. So I read the synopsis and it says a stubborn teenager enlists to help a tough US Marshal to track down her father's murderer. I mean, it sounded pretty interesting to me and uh, I saw Hilly Steinfeld is in it. Uh, so, I mean, that's nice. I really like her. I saw her in the show Dickinson and um, yeah, she's a good actress. So I think she's only 14 years old here. So I didn't know she started acting that early, but I'm quite excited to see like how she acts here and if it's like any different, how she improved and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty interesting to me because I've never seen her uh, in a movie as a child. So yeah. Before I start, I want to tell you that if you want me to react to a movie by choice, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also find my full reaction to this movie there under the uncut reaction tier. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of other tiers you can check out. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, with that said, let's just watch this movie. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, let's go. People did not give it credence that a young girl could leave home and go off in the winter time to avenge her father's blood, but it did happen. I was just 14 years of age when a coward by the name of Tom Chaney shot my father down and robbed him of his life and his horse. Chaney fled. I really feel like I'm gonna like this movie. I think it's gonna be pretty epic that this 14 year old girl is gonna avenge her father's death. Is I feel like she always looks the same no matter what age she is or is that just me? <laughs> Shots like this will always make me think of Westworld and then like Sweetwater team playing I just really love that it's a Western also because I, I love Westerns if You would like to kiss him? It would be all right Go up to collect father so he can see some other business. Your mama didn't say nothing about you saying no business here. Tell mama not to sign anything until So her mother is still alive, but she's like arranging yeah. everything. I really thought she would be an orphan or something. I'm expecting three more souls. Children in the way that they should go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> would like to say although Damn. Okay. <laughs> The way everyone is clapping. She just said she had no money. I know it is occupied, Mr. Cogburn. As I said, I have business with you. Can you wait a few minutes? Oh. It's not there as a customer. I'm 14 years old. Okay. I don't know why, but it is so iconic to me that she's only 14 years old and she's like doing all of this. Pretty badass. If you would like to sleep in a coffin, it would be honored. That's very vampire-y. I'm supposed to sell those ponies back to you that my father bought. Well, that appears out of the question. I will see that they're shipped to you at my earliest convenience. Your father bought the ponies and paid for them and there's an end of it. Can't you just resell them? You have to take that up with a man who stole the horse. I'm saying you stole the horse while it was in your care. You are responsible. True. I admire your saying. I mean, I she's right. I have provided reasonable protection for the creature as per our implicit agreement. You have no case. Lawyer Jay Noble died of a dark now. I can sell me think otherwise. $200 for Judy, plus $100 for the ponies, and $25 for the gray horse that Tom Cheney left. Ponies have no part in it, I will not. <laughs> Fucking ponies. I will pay $225 and keep the gray horse. It will go to law. All right, this is my last offer. $300. Now, you must take that or leave it. I mean, you almost got what you want now. Lawyer Jacob would not wish me to consider anything under $325. Stroll. Settle for $320. If I am given the 20 in advance. Now here's what I have to say about that saddle. <laughs> She's so epic. I also thought this would be some kind of an emotional movie because her father would die and then she'd be alone and I don't know, but I feel like it's kinda like a little comedy like and I think I'm liking that. This was in your poor father's run. This outfit with the braids really reminds me of uh, Wednesday. That's the way you find a jar with $120 in it. Lady? Sustained. What happened then? I have a jar with $120 in it. How many men have you shot? 
thus restricted to kill so that we may have a manageable figure. Mark 12, 15, so I believe them two working boys make them 23. And how many members of this one family had you killed? Me did, or? Did you also shoot Dub Ward and Grub? Which direction were you going? I don't want to go backwards when I'm backing up. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Hey. You tell me you're a man with true grit. That's the name of the movie. We got the trumpet down. Let me do this. I'm looking for the man who shot and killed my father, Frank Ross, in front of the Walmart boarding house. Where are you? What are you? You got there in your pole. Uh, Coast drug gun. I intend to kill Tom Cheney, was it? Kill Tom Cheney. Nobody here knew my father, and I'm afraid nothing is going to be done about Cheney except I do it. My brother is a child, and my mother is indecisive and hobbled by grief. I'm contracting Colonel Stonehill, which he will make payment on tomorrow or the next day. I don't believe the fairy tale stories about the money, baby sister, but thanks for the cigarette. Also, I have been um, playing Red Dead Redemption for the past few days, like constantly. So I'm totally in the Western vibe right now, so I'm liking this. Second floor back did open up, but uh, that gentleman on the porch has just taken it. You're not disturbing Grandma Turner. Oh my god, no. I mean, I guess at least she has some place to sleep. Wait, is that the... Sheriff? No. Why does he look like Teddy Flo? My name is Levy. Oh, that's Matt Damon. <laughs> Why did I only just realize that? No. I forgot he was in this movie. I would throw in with you and your Marshall. No. Marshall Cogburn and I are fine. I know, Jamie. It is at least a team. Oh, wait, was he the guy are. sitting outside when she walked in? Because I was like, how the fuck did he just get in and just like sit there in her room? Waiting for her to wake up and have this conversation. She has been alluded to what you're wrong by half witch. You give out very little sugar. While I sat there watching you, I gave some thought to stealing a kiss. Though She's you 14. Young, but now I have a mind to give you five or six good legs on my belt. <laughs> okay. Of course, it's your belt, Grandma Turner. <laughs> <laughs> this malarial place has ruined my health. Hmm. I need a pony and I will pay $10 for one of them. Now that's a lot, trash. No, no, it. Wait a minute, are we trading again? <laughs> nice. He don't know he got a rider. He's too light. He think he got a horse going on. He's very spirited. That's a cool horse. What does he like for a treat? So he likes apples. Watch a god bring <laughs> Because I'm Maddie Ross, your employer. Girl, your employer. You were trying to take advantage of me. I'm giving you the children's right. <laughs> If you think I'm silly enough to give you fifty dollars and watch you simply right off. I I'll mean I don't done. trust him, so um I still can get over how like 2010 Haley Steinfeld looks exactly the same as now Haley Steinfeld. Does this girl not age? I gotta say the last time I watched um Dickinson, like the last show I watched of her is like two or three years ago, but still that's still like ten years difference. She's pretty smart. She always like finds a way to get what she wants. And I mean, people are probably not taking her serious because she's a child. And I guess a woman in that a woman, a woman in that time, but mostly a child. I get it, but you know that Papa want me to be for She has nice ways to get what she wants. Cool. So do not fear on my account. The author of all things watches over me. Ever since I have been Five watching years. Adventure Time, every time I hear the word apples, I just think of three trunks who's like, they stole my apples. I'm off with the Choctaw Nation. Where's Marshall Cogburn? Went away. Left this side. You're inside of the train ticket for your return home. Use it. By the time you read this, I will be across the river in the Indian Nation. Return with your man. Oh my God. Leave me to my work. Ruben Cogburn. She even got a cool outfit for it. Is that Marsh Cogburn? That is a man. Who's he with? Matt Damon? I do not know. I go with my horse, I have business across the river. <laughs> I guess the apples were good for something. Oh, little, come on. Sure. <laughs> the horse is like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why does it look like the horse is swimming? I'm glad it's not any deeper than that, because then they would have drowned. 
I mean, I guess this shows them that she is really, really dedicated and they're like, ah, okay, I guess. <laughs> Now your clothes are gonna be all wet the whole way. Horse had a bath. If I do not, there's no agreement and my money was stolen. Mark, put this. Just tell me this spank it. Now you do it! Promise safe! What the fuck? Leave her the fuck alone! What kind of reason does he have to do this though? Why does he care so much if she's coming or not? In Texas, we'll make do with fire a little more than. Wait. Okay, I didn't, don't think she cares. You I didn't know, bag. Well, they have a rope too. Like we're not bothered here. You're, you're little and bony. Maybe lapping water off the ground is range of policy. You're getting ready to show your ignorance now, Codburn. I think oh, I like him more now I'll than the other one. Do you two like to hear the story of the Midnight Caller? Now I'll do all the other cards myself. A considerable reward on offer, which we split. Did not want him brought to Texas to have a Texas punishment administered for a Texas crime. She wants to that kill him. That was not him. our agreement. When I had bought to pay for something, I would have my way. Why do you think I'm paying you if not to have my way? You cannot have your way in every little particular. I mean, she's Perfect. doing quite well, well so far. Terms. Sounds to me like you're still being hoorah by a little girl. You he you really needs to shut up. What army was you in, mister? I was a tree port. Each man for himself. Congratulations, Godbert. This is going so you graduated. well. Hey, you graduated. Okay, bye then. I feel like they're, they're gonna run into him again, though, because... We don't. Why did he team up with him in the first place? Donkey? Nice. <laughs> oh, that's what children deserve. Pretty awkward. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? Well, this is Papa's gold piece. Oh. Okay. Who is that then? We'll have to clamber up and look. Excuse me. Too old and too fat. Can't go to hell. Oh, at least she's a good tree climber, I guess. Climber. Calm down. Why? I might know him. Why not? Just cut him down if you're up there anyway. How do you even get him up there? Damn. Why did they hang him so high? Yeah. Well, Could have chosen another tree. Oh my god. That looked like someone I you know. Not know this man. <laughs> oh, for nothing. Oh. You know what? It did not, but it is a dead body. Possibly where something is betrayed. Well, my second wife, Edna. Why are dead bodies worth money? Double back over our tracks and confuse the trail in a clever way. No, we will wait right here. Is he wearing like a, a wolf hat? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bear. Like from far, I was like, is this a bear riding a horse? What is going on? It's a cool hat though. Not so cool that you have to kill a bear for it. Do either of you need medical attention? No. Medical attention. Who's out there? We're looking for shelter. Oh, oh my god. That was loud. Even my cat got scared. Okay. It said it was a man on the roof. I thought it was part. <laughs> My leg hurts. So these are actual people who are wanted by the world then? First I thought they were just random people they were gonna like shoot or whatever just to get shelter, but if he knows them. I don't know those boys you're looking for. I don't know those boys. Okay. I always try to help out the law. So they kinda are just random people. But he does know them. And I don't think it's like a friendly relationship. The man Shane with the marked face killed my father. So a whiskey drinker like you and it led to killing in the end. I'm puzzled by this. Why is she here? True. We seen that in Hayes two days ago. Don't you back the fool! I will kill you! I need a doctor! Oh no, you're losing your fingers too! Ooh. Okay. First his leg, now his fingers. Oh. oh, oh, okay, I missed oh, that. Lord. Help me. Remount. Zaki. 
I think they got the information they want. I feel kind of bad for him though. You just play great boys. One man. Oh, is that the house they just were? Yeah. Or is that Matt Damon again? I don't know his name in the movie, so... Yeah, yeah, okay, it's him. So what is he doing? Is he still following them, or...? Oh... What is he gonna do? Shoot them from there? I don't think that gun has that rate range. What does he do? <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Never mind what I just said. Nah, I think he's too far away. So they just saved him after all. Oh, I'm severely injured and also shot. By a rifle, not the that I had planned. Oh, what's oh, a rifle? Put it in your mouth. Uh, I leave my bit myself. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. Dumb. Bit on the screw. Y'all see a little nick or something? This yank is free. Ew. Don't. I'm just yanking free. What's that now? What's that now? Bob's going to buy the tongue on. Ew. I hate this. Do you want a little wacky? I have a notion that tomorrow we will reach our object. I love that she gives that horse the attention it deserves. You're not here to man at 300 yards if your gun was resting on her shoulder. Who kind of battler? I do not believe he's smacked. He looks drunk and sleep drunk at the same time. I am so happy I have subtitles because sometimes I have no idea what this man is saying. I still can't get over how cool Haley Steinfeld looks. On a black horse with the hat and that outfit. Slay girl. You are more handicapped without the eye. Nah. Dude, uh. Kind of in front of them, she's always in your eyes. That is to say, your eye. This man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. For now. Do it one time! Yeah, it's true. What the fuck are they doing? They're just like holding this little match who's a better shooter. Oh my god. She really chose to like hire the two biggest fools to accompany her on this journey. <laughs> Why does this remind me of Twilight music? I'm dead. He just really shoots at every chance he gets, right? Let him start! <laughs> Guys, fallen and tongue mangled, who is therefore unable to rise to his own defense. Speak for myself. <laughs> I shall make my own camp elsewhere. Not so close to our goal with Tom Cheney nearly in hand. Yeah. He is not in a shallow grave somewhere between here and Fort Smith. He is gone. Our engagement is terminated. What? Bye. What? After everything, it's just like, okay, never mind, I'm not doing this anymore. Did he at least give her money back? I you misjudged you. I picked the wrong man. So the whole thing is just they're not really able to find the man. Also, I gotta say, I, I'm starting to like him better again now. He seems more reasonable. We'll not go back, not without Cheney, dead or alive. She's not gonna stop. I misjudged you as well. I can spend my hand. Mr. please. Is that the guy? Your name is Maddie. But well, you're a little Maddie and the bookkeeper. Yes, and I know you, Tom Cheney. 
She's taking very long to get that gun. I have come to take you back to Fort Smith. How many is up there? Right around 50. And, and then she's the only the one there. All the way back. No luck. I know how to do it. It's the other way around. You're going with me. Did he really think she was not going to do it? I don't think you're going to do it. Now I'm dropped by a child. Shoot again, maybe? Oh, of course. Help me! Hey! Well, just great. They came there to take him and now they've oh, taken her. You know, just the marshal. I will kill this girl! That is all very well. Do you advise that I kill her? Oh, he cares. Running up that hill. Okay. <laughs> Who the fuck is the guy? Tom Cheney, they shot my father to death in Fort Smith and robbed him of two gold pieces and stole his man. I honestly did not expect her to like end up in their camp without the marshal. I'll throw you in. I'll leave you screaming and rock for nothing going my way. Is that Mr. Way they got night for last? What is he doing? I was in the very middle of it. It was a terrible thing to see. And as well. These depredations have come to an end. They're leaving a trail of dead bodies. I'm not staying here by myself with Tom Cheney. No. We'll do no such thing. Tom? I don't know. She did just shoot him. Did they really just brought that guy? Like, bring that guy for fun? The one who makes the noises? Okay, this is something. I didn't expect they would actually like have a conversation. I thought in the end she would just like find him and bring him to ju justice or like um, kill him. I need no affidavit. All I need is your silence. What uh, does that mean? Of course, of course. The marshal's gonna show up, right? I think when honesty, I did not regret shooting him. He thought Tom Jane was small. Here we go. Oh! Oh, okay. He did come back. Nice. Hey, Beep. How is it that you're here? I heard a shot. Went down to the river. Hmm. I honestly feel like these guys are shooting around so much that you would hear gunshots constantly. <laughs> Especially him. He's just constantly shooting around. It was an excellent help the last I saw her. This. That's four men. I guess he didn't lie about being a good shot after all. I guess he was just drunk. <laughs> Poor horsey. Come on. I think neither of us is to see Judge Parker. Did he kill him? Who killed him? Oh! Woohoo! Some bully shot! That was 400 yards at least! <gasps> mm, this one. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, let's go! Stand up, Tom Cheney! Nice! Ooh, ooh, fuck! Fuck! Did not think that through. I mean, at least she killed him, right? I guess. I was really scared that in the end she would just bring him back to town and then he wouldn't get, like, the thing he deserves, she knows. Where is everyone? Someone help. Oh yeah, he was uh, knocked out. But the marshal will come back soon, I, I hope. But he's like all the way down there still, so... Wait, is that her dad? Or like, no, they found the dad. But stuff of him? What the fuck? I can really, like, hardly see what that is. Boots? Oh, it is a body. Oh. Huh. Awesome. Snakes? What is that? Is she in some sort of snake pit? Oh, Mr. oh dude, I think you really have to save yourself now. Get yourself out of there and climb up. I mean, we've seen how you could, could climb the tree. Maybe through a road? Yes. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's bit her. I hope that's not like a really poisonous snake. Uh, excuse me. Oh, okay. First of all, like, are you gonna chop off her hand or what? But okay, okay, that's good. Damn. I like how all these relationships relationships evolved. Like at first they like hated her, then at some point they hated each other, the guys, and then everyone hated each other. Yeah. But look at him saving her life now. Did the Tom guy die now? I think so, right? Because she shot him and he fell off a cliff. Yeah, but girl, you have to get to a doctor. But poor horse as well. No! She is not gonna die, right? End of the movie. Nice. Please get off the horse. gonna do was it like putting the horse out of his misery i mean you could have gotten off a little earlier or just like let it rest i don't know oh not little blackie he was so cute a true legend i don't like him for this i get it he wants to save her life but huh the way he suddenly cares so much about her though just continuing on foot carrying her Oh, is that her now? My hand had turned black. Mm. I was not awake when I lost the arm. Oh! Fucking hell. The marshal had stayed with me, I was told, till I was out of danger. But he departed before I came round. Once home, I wrote him with an invitation and collect the $50 I so owed him. I received a note from the marshal with a flyer enclosed. He said he was traveling with the Wild West show, getting older and fatter. He would understand if the journey were too long. Brief though his note was. Grieves me to tell you that you have missed Rooster. You passed away no! when the show was in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Bury him there in the Confederate Cemetery. It's referred to as Night Hawks. I believe the warm weather is too much for you. He had some lively times. I knew the marshal long ago. I had the body removed to our plot and I have visited it over the years. <gasps> Fuck! No doubt people talk about that. They say, well, she hardly knew the man. Oh well, no, that's Isn't not true. She? It is true, I have not married. Slave. I never had time to fool with it. I heard nothing more of the Texas officer, Labeef. If he is yet alive, I would be pleased to hear from him. Time just gets away from us. good movie why did it have to end so sad though i mean i get it he was old and it makes for a good ending i guess but uh okay so i really like this movie damn i'm kind of recovering from the end right now because um i don't know it felt the time jump felt kind of random to me of course we've heard her talk in the beginning as like a bit older already so i guess it made sense but at the same time i was like Maybe it would have made more sense if we had already seen her in the beginning, but at the same time, I'm like, maybe not. I don't know. I just, I, I feel like I kind of forgot about that we saw that in the beginning and then it went back to like the future. I was like, oh yeah, fuck. And now it's like, how many years later was it? She said a decade or 25 years? I don't know, but it was later. But like we see this whole story of 
these three people who first like they don't really know each other and especially the two men they didn't want uh maddie to come with them because obviously she's a child um and then like she is so dedicated to like getting what she wants and she really shows them that she's like good at what she does and all and um they all grow pretty close together like even uh the two men at some point they were in this like fight and they were, they really didn't like each other anymore if they had ever liked each other um, and i was like okay this whole group is falling apart now <laughs> never mind but then in the end they're like after all of the stuff they went through they're like this pretty close group of people and just the marshal trying to save maddie and doing literally everything he can to get her there i gotta say the horse that was pretty sad though but i guess at that point it's the horse or the girl and i kind of get that you choose the girl but it was just kind of sad to see and then just at the end when he literally carried her there till he couldn't breathe anymore and he just eventually he managed to save her by getting her there and she just lost her arm but damn that was one hell of a movie like i said before it's still so weird to me that Haley steinfeld looks literally the same at 14 as she does at 24 um so sometimes it was a little hard for me to see her as a child also because her personality just the way she acted it felt really grown up so she was this 14 year old girl but at the same time just the way she acted the way she got what she wanted and just being pretty fucking badass i sometimes forgot that she was a child and i was like yes girl slay but then when you think that she's like 14 in this movie and this character is 14 i'm like damn you go so i think that was that was my favorite part of the movie just Haley steinfeld the 14 year old girl in this really epic role that's really cool to see i think that was my review though i really really liked it it was a really nice movie um really good actors um nice story i gotta say i think the beginning it really got me and then at some point during the journey i was like okay get a little more little bit more speed into this uh but then like the last half hour the whole thing with when they found the killer the, who killed the dad then i got really excited again and especially the ending made me really emotional so yeah, it was a really good movie. So yeah, that was my reaction to this movie. Um, like I said, if you want to recommend me your own movie, check out my Patreon. Or if you want to see my full reaction to this movie, also check it out. And then that was it. So let me know what you thought of it. And did you like it, then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I hope to see you at my next videos. Bye!